Well, howdy, howdy, howdy. Finally, St. Anderson is in here. Greetings, boys, girls, and all of our non-binary friends, and welcome to this, a brand new day. And it is indeed a brand new day. I've been out on walkies and back. It is not even noon. And I'm trying to do these things earlier. I've been pushing them back later and later because I've been so tired of late just because of my insomnia. But when I push it off that far, my entire afternoon vanishes. So, trying to get it done earlier. Plus, there are people, or at least one, who has said, I missed it when you did it earlier. And, yeah, so have I. So, I'm trying, but I still need to get out for walkies in the morning, and I still have to get ready for the day and stuff like that. So, thumbs up. Anyway, hope your day has been a good one so far. I've only got a couple things to talk about today. Uh, first one, the... Uh, United States elections. All I'm going to say on this one is I know there are going to be a lot of people that have been in contact with the therapy organization that I work with because I've talked with my therapist before about such like this and whenever things start going a little bit south in the country, oh boy does his client list really need a lot of help. I'm going to be uh, really talking to him this Thursday. So thumbs up on that. Anyway, though, so one of the things I wanted to mention, I, I talked about this yesterday, maybe? I had a huge amount of bugs fly out of my air conditioning unit yesterday. I figured they must have come out, sprayed out through it, because I don't have bugs inside. And they could only come from outside, so they're getting sucked in from outside somehow. I mean, I still taped in and around my unit, and I stuffed in the towel underneath it. But when I look in through the front of it, I can see through the back. So there's openings through the back. Now, I... For a different product, they had a window screen that you could put over that product. And I was thinking, if I had that, I could put it over the back of the air conditioning unit. <sighs> but I've gone outside. I have sprayed all around the window sill, the window frame, with bug killer to try and dissuade bugs from coming around. Because we have overly warm weather this late in the year so lots of bugs and it's always damp here which is good for the growth of things that like dampness like gnats and there's like beauty bark and stuff just outside our windows that things like to live in so there are tons of gnats outside not just outside my window or in the facility here when I walk on the trail that goes from behind the hospital over to our library, there are clouds of gnats that are bouncing off my face and all that when I go walking through those trails. So it's not just here. They're everywhere. It's just because it's late and warm and humid. So bug growth of things that like, like it wet and warm. So, though, I've had a thousand and one bugs come out of that thing when I was gone to vote and do walkies. I have since, I put up towels on my table over here so I could catch the flying bugs that came out of it and see how many there were. I had it on all last night. No bugs. This morning, I've had like four and yesterday evening after I'd done some of this stuff, another four. Yesterday was the first time that it had happened in such numbers that I got to notice it. If it was blasting out like four bugs a day, I wouldn't have seen it. Because a lot of them are going straight wee onto the floor. And I'm not going to see a, a dead bug on the floor with the stuff that I track in from my shoes, etc. I just would have swept it all up when I sweep. So I only would have caught it if I caught a little tiny dead gnat on the table. 
Which, with all the stuff I got stacked there, probably wasn't seen because I never noticed them. So, enjoy on that. Anyway, though, let's hope that maybe by uh, summertime of next year, if I'm still here, that I can have uh, some kind of netting that I've got around the outside of it at the very least on the uh, four outer edges like this, if not the back part. And I just thought I'd mention I follow a couple tech channels on YouTube and one of them the guy was going on about a machine from B-Link and I even followed the link onto Amazon to take a look at it and it seemed to be really good it's like uh, 800 bucks for a mini PC but again the stats look sharp until he started to run it through its paces and while he was having to lower everything from high to medium to make it run okay uh, not too bad because it was things like cyberpunk he then went on to uh, go to games like god I wanted to say Daggerfall Baldur's Gate 3 where even bumped down to low it was choppy so that's out <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be able to play at least things that, that are semi-modern before I can even pick it up. But it was one of these mini PC things, and it looked good, aside from the fact that, like, three, I think, USB ports, and only one of them was USB 3, but that's not bad. I've lived with USB 2 for most of forever, so. But anyway, yeah, so I'm still a looking still checking out still trying to find out the best bang for a buck so that's good and i checked exact numbers i have 1248 saved up which is so close to 1500 that i've been just tempted to just shut it down right now to go fund me but i'm gonna, gonna let it go for a little while longer and then i'm like i say always checking to see what sort of machine I can spend this on because I want to get a good good machine if I get well I mean I got 1248 so I want a good bang for buck which I feel obligated to get the best bang for my buck because it's donations from beautiful and wonderful people the thing is you can define bang in so many different ways while buck it can actually still be defined differently than just you know an accumulation of x dollars but bang i mean is in these terms uh, be able to render video best or be able to well let's not put that finger up instead of that one or be able to play games best or be able to do other things better. Altogether, there's a lot of things that can be defined for buck, for buck, for bang. And I have to balance the being able to play games one versus along with the being able to edit and render video. But I'm a looking, I'm gonna get something. Someone in comments was talking about one of the big problems that they had with Lenovo all-in-ones is they worked at Best Buy, and at that time, when they were working there, the Lenovo's were the number one return because of damages when they were getting them. So, you never can tell. But, I'm a looking. I'm a looking, and that's a good thing. Yay! Past that, though, I have just been doing my very best. Last night, I went out on walkies and then came back and was watching videos. And then I get so tired in late evening, but I have to stay up as late as I can. Because last night was a long night. I woke up after what felt like hours and hours and hours of being asleep. And it was like half hour. And I remember being awake a lot and just waiting until it was long enough for me to be able to get back up. So, oh boy which being tired makes it hard to do a lot of things but still playing a lot of supermarket simulator 
again weirdly because it's a different one that I really enjoyed but now I'm playing this one and still it is uh, running a fake grocery for it to the best of my ability for my fake customers so that I can make enough money to make my store better so I can serve more people more efficiently and yet I do enjoy it but it's it's reaching a point that's hard to advance because you need to spend money but when you spend money if you don't have a lot you can't buy a lot of product and if you don't have a lot of product to put on your shelves you can't make money so you've got to concentrate on getting the inventory on your shelves but by the time you get the inventory on your shelves and purchased your inventory and paid your bills and any loans you've had you don't have enough to expand or at least I don't so it's kind of frustrating that way they do moderately good on the employees on grocery store simulator the stalker was frustrating extremely so I almost found it better to not have a stalker than to use a stalker just no employees at all this one the stalker works great when they work properly because there are times when the employees just bug out entirely I'll have two self sir self ah uh, English you know the stands where you take care of yourself and then one checker at a regular stand and there are times that I have to turn him off and then turn him back on fire and rehire because he'll just stand there otherwise and the stalker will do the same they'll just take something out to the garbage throw it away and then stand there and then you have to fire them hire someone else otherwise they're just going to stand there but it is fun thumbs up for that definitely a good thing so yeah uh, again it's a short one and my sincere apologies on that there are places that I do want to go for walks there are things that I want to show with my camera I had taken my camera down I don't know how far it is but because it's the blocks are weirdly shaped here but I was showing the spot a drainage ditch where they had water mint growing well now we're in the winter times well autumn times anyway it's a drainage field and we have had a lot of rain here lately so it's back to wintertime things with there's always water in this area there are trees that grow in that area from autumn onward they look just flat dead because there's always water and there's just these skeletal tree things coming up and out no leaves no hint of life just coming up out of the water most things when they come up out of the water and they look like that they're dead but no come with summertime when the water dries up the leaves come out and all the trees are still alive but for right now they're starting to look all dead and the water is just covering up all the places where the mint was thumbs up for that so hopefully I'm gonna get the camera out there very soon and speaking of uh, water mint uh, if you could check out the then the oh my god my tongue I can't speak English anymore if you could check out in the description I do have links for the GoFundMe to try and get me a new computer and when I say try I mean definitely by this point if you wanted to donate that would be very cool at this point you know do not feel obligated in the slightest I'm really close to shutting it down but if you wanted to donate before I do that that would be very cool links are down below but again do not feel obligated but it would be nice some people have donated so much you know who you are because you're the ones that donated thank you so very much i am in your debt thumbs up
So if you could check that out, that'd be cool. Again, don't feel obligated. And of course, you could like, comment, share, subscribe, but only share, of course, with people that you think would like to watch an old man yammer on incomprehensible about thoroughly unnamed subjects. But if you could do that, that'd be awesome. Definitely a thumbs up on that. And of course, each and every one of my Patreon patrons, you are beautiful and awesome people. Physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually. I mean it. When you look in the mirror, it is incredible. And for everybody that has left me a comment, thumbs up and thank you. I read everyone that YouTube shows me. I thumbs up and heart everyone I can. I am allowed to do so, and I answer as many as my nerve compression will let me. So, thumbs up, thank you, it is appreciated. Good golly, Miss Molly, I don't really have anything else. I have been looking at the things that I had, solo and, well, solo board game and solo RPG, so I can get stuff done for the channel here. There are plans. So I'm going to edit, render, upload, and then try and take care of myself for the rest of the day. Hopefully you can get done the things that you would like to get done. If not, please do not beat yourself up. There's no need. You deserve being better to yourself. So, until we meet again, you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side. And that is indeed a very, very good thing. Yay! Then, of course... Uh, I don't know why that's an of course. So, I, I need sleep. <laughs> you take care and have a very good day.